Alright, I've never done a YouTube video before. Um, figured I would start putting some of the stuff that I've learned into practice and helping other people out. I've been helped by a lot of YouTube videos, so um, if it helps one person, I guess it's worth it. So I'm going to be doing the work anyways. So what I got here is um, a Solus Air refrigeration air conditioner. Just a portable one, does 8,000 BTU. Cools up to like 250 square feet. I got it in my wife and I's bedroom. Um, it was working fine. I wanted to, I wanted to clean the filter. Sorry for the poor quality here. Um, I wanted to clean the filter. It really doesn't look all that bad. I mean, it definitely has some dust on it. Um, so I'll pop that out of there and rinse that off so as to make sure that's thoroughly thoroughly dry before i put it back in um so as you can see it's got two different condensers i'm not entirely sure what they're both for i work on ice cream machines um so i'm used to seeing this type of stuff seeing our compressor in there um, I think it says it uses R410A. Um, what you hopefully can see, I should have grabbed my flashlight, so sorry for the quality, but this condenser is covered in dust. Um, I've just been scraping it with the toothbrush and I already got that much out. So I've just been going in here. You want to be very careful that you don't, um, you want to go with the, with the fins. Um, <clears throat> so that you don't bend those, because if those bend, then you're losing airflow, and that's what this whole thing is. This fan blows on the on the coils um, of the condenser. And it's the exchange of heat and cool. Um, I don't know the science of it, to be honest with you, but I do work on them. Uh, but I know that a that a dirty, covered up condenser like that is going to restrict um, the cool air. So you want to clean that off and get the best airflow possible to get the best air conditioning. So if you're having a problem feeling like it's not getting as cold as it should be, um, take there's like six screws, four maybe eight screws on the back panel. It just comes comes apart just like this. Um, and then clean your filter while you're at it. But you can take just a little toothbrush and just go up and down on that condenser um, and see if that solves your problem. All right, so I have finished um, cleaning that condenser off. You can see I got, I got all this off the condenser. I got this little bit right here off of... Uh, off the filter itself, which I got, I rinsed off, so I'm letting that dry, but all that came off the, the condenser. And so you can see now, um, in there, got it all pretty cleared off. There's definitely some dust still in there. If you really wanted to get serious, you could, you have an air compressor. You gotta be careful though. You really don't want to bend those, bend those fins in there. Um, see how they all go vertical you start bending them like you can even see right there there's just a little bend and that's not going to affect anything but you, you you go across the wrong way and you damage all those fins and bend them all you're going to have some airflow issues so um i had to bend this i just moved this copper a little bit if you're not comfortable doing that i mean copper is got some flex to it um you want to be very careful obviously that you're not going to break a line or bend it too much um, but i was trying to get in there and i was having a hard time so um yeah again hope this video hope this video helped um in some way and maybe i'll be making more of these we'll see later